Hello everyone, this is Benz here, playing the tier 10 German heavy tank, Mouse, on Live Oaks, and not exactly the best map for this tank, only because it's, since the mouse is slow, it's kind of hard to get into the town without being spotted and blasted to pieces, and the south's not very good either, since you have to go through two soft spots, those little estuaries there, um, and coming out of both of them is a steep hill, which Mouse is not good at going over or cresting a hill, so more or less I'm going to stick to the lesser of two evils, and actually I don't really see too many, there's a lot of people going to the town, so I'm actually going to stick to the south and just hunkered down. As I say, I was going to pick the lesser of two evils and stick. I don't get why that guy's calling him out when there's four of us down here, three of us being tier 10s. So more or less we should be able to at least stall them long enough for the town to do okay. But I really don't want to come down here just because um, I knew I wouldn't be able to do too much in the beginning. And at least in the town I would be able to slowly move up and use my armor to my advantage. But I'm just going to wait and see what they see down here. That VK is definitely gonna die. He's. I think he just got tracked. But pushing out over that hill is not something I recommend. Those two mediums are moving up. It looks like most of the enemies in the town too, so I'm just gonna hang back a little. Uh, he got whacked by something. I'm gonna hang back a little bit, just so I'm not spotted by anything that's too close to me. But I am gonna. Eh, there's that FV. Should be able to hit him. And I hit the one spot on his armor. I can't penetrate. but I'm just going to hang back a little bit. I just don't get why people can't be patient. But I'm going to move up just so I can see the enemies over here and maybe get a shot off. do know if I go any further I'm gonna have some trouble. And the crappy accuracy of the mouse comes into play here. Yeah, at least I can hit that guy. On T62A, just hang back just a little bit. Tracker is definitely a worry. Should get 
take this guy out though, and hopefully we can kill this waffle tracker. Oof, he got hit pretty hard. Come on, dude, just stay alive. I know I wish I had an AP shell for him, but... Hopefully keep my armor high enough. Kette beschädigt. Here we go. I was kind of worried that he would reload in time, but it doesn't look like he did. I'm not too worried about Artori because I have a heavy spawn liner on. But just goes to show you, if we weren't patient and I would have pushed up with those medium tanks in the beginning, I probably would have died. Just being patient, and as long as if your other flank's doing well, especially on a map like this where there's only two real routes to go through. You can go through the middle, but it's not really normal. But if you're patient, kind of let the enemy make the mistakes and come to you, which the enemy clearly outnumbered us in the south, especially after we lost that leopard in the beginning. We let them make the mistakes, kind of did damage to them, played safely, be patient, and generally it works out more or less. You usually have a better chance at not looking like a fool if you kind of wait, and if you have time to wait, then it's usually the better option of than just rushing into a, a enemy sitting there waiting for you. But anyway, did the second amount, most amount of damage on my team, just under 3,800 and didn't really block much since I didn't get shot by too many people and didn't really spot either since I was sitting in the back but still made a decent profit and like I was saying if I would have rushed out there I probably would have been picked off by that um, E100 TD um, fairly quickly since I'm pretty large and he can just chew right through my armor if he was using premium rounds or if had a good shot on me but anyway the mouse even though a lot of people don't really like it since it's kind of an old tank and it relies mainly on its HP and armor, it still is a very good tank in my opinion. The only real negative is its mobility and the accuracy. I can deal with the slightly um, less amount of penetration it gets compared to other tier 10s since you can just swap over to the premium APCR round if you need to, but the main problem is that accuracy 0.38 combined with the aim time which makes it hard to hit things at long range or even at close range at times if the weak spot's very small. But the armor is very good if you angle your hole and your turret. You can find a weak spot guide on wakguru.com that goes over all of the mouse's armor along with a multitude of other tanks. And overall even though the mouse is a very old and kind of outdated tank, it still performs very well. And even though its gun doesn't look great on paper, when you add in the armor and the HP, you can pretty much um, take most tanks on by yourself. Unless if you're taking on one of those stupid E100 TDs, um, those things are pretty unbalanced right now. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website, wotguru.com.